Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you some rustic spring DIY home decor that I really hope you will like. Let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. I'm going to be using this uh, Dollar Tree sign. And first I'm going to take my sander and sand it off as much as possible. This is what I was left with. And now I'm going to fill out the holes with a wood filler after they were dry and sand it off. I'm taking this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white color to give this a uh, few coats. So after the first coat of dabbing the paint, this is how it looks like. So now I'm going to add uh, one more coat and I'm just dabbing it because I wanted that beautiful texture. After it was dried, this is how it looks like. I also painted the sides as well. Now I'm going to take a ruler and just pull the lines right there where those indentations are to create a sheep lap look. I'm using a pencil and I'm going to just smudge it now with my fingers to make it stand out a little bit. Okay, after I'm done with this, I'm going to be taking this metal uh, flower that is from the Dollar Tree. I uh, am going to be painting with this same white chalk paint. Um, I don't know if this looked like a sunflower, but uh, I thought if I painted white, it will definitely look like daisy. And that's what I did. So now that the white part is done, this is how it looks like. And I'm going to mix these two shades of uh, yellow or one is almost like orange. And I'm going to dab it in the middle. And now I think it definitely looks like daisy. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this canvas uh, in a hexagon shape. It comes in a package of two from... Um, Michael's for $2.99 and then I'm going to be also painting the sides uh, in black color as well and now I'm just attaching it right in the middle in the middle of this white sign with a hot glue and after that I'm using a bead to raise this flower to be able to actually attach it and then uh, using a hot glue I'm attaching it right in the middle of that hexagon. I love this layering and I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's so chic, beautiful, modern, yet rustic. And as always, I would really like to hear from you. What do you think about this project? This video is part of the What Month Is It Challenge, uh, where we needed to create things that are uh, typical for month that we're in. So uh, whatever is typical for month of April, that's what we needed to use as our inspiration for the project. This is a monthly challenge and Tammy over at uh, Happiness Created is the host. Um, the co-host beside me this month is Christine over at DIY Craftaholic and the special guest host is Annie over at Indiana Jones. I'm going to have their channels linked in the description box as well as the playlist for this challenge. Make sure to go ahead and check it out. I'm sure there will be some great ideas that you can maybe recreate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me and helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube. Also subscribe if you're new. It is completely free. I would love to have you. Okay, on to the DIY number two. I'm going to be using this tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to first take 10 of them. And I will uh, hot glue five next to each other. Like I'm going to show over here. So just uh, hot gluing next to each other. If you want, you can certainly use wood glue or any other glue that you have. My uh, hot glue is pretty uh, sturdy, so that's why I use that. Now that I have two of these, I'm going to uh, hot glue them together like so. I created two of those, and I'm going to put them to a side. And then I'm going to take 12 of uh, Jenga blocks, and I will hot glue two together. So now I'm going to take these two blocks that I created and one of those two hot glue together and I am going to attach it on one side. So to actually um, attach two of the block sides to each other, if that makes sense. You see what I'm doing over here and then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Then I'm going to take another two pieces of Jenga block and put them on the top portion and the same thing on the other side and then middle in the middle as well. After I was done with all that, this is how it looks like. Now I think it makes sense. Next step will be to take um, some adultery sign or really anything that you have and trace, trace it to create a bottom for this and I'm going to just hot glue it. Okay, after I'm done with this part, I'm going to go ahead and um, take the wood filler and I'm going to fill out 
all the holes. After I was done with that, this is how it looks like, already looking so much better. And I'm going to sand it. I also did inside um, as well, just to make it nice and seamless. Okay, this is how it looks like. That's before I did the inside. Okay, next thing I'm going to take um, three and three and then two Jenga blocks. I'm going to hot glue them together and then I will hot glue them so they create kind of a U shape. And then after that, I'm going to hot glue them right on top of my new created box. So this is how this looks like. And then I'm going to also fill out the handle with the uh, wood filler and sand it off. Then I'm going to take this uh, gray chalk paint bar by Martha Stewart and I'm going to paint this planter completely. Now this is totally optional. You can use stain or paint or any anything that you want or leave it as it is. Now I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color and this chippy brush from the Dollar Tree and I will distress it. I really like this combination. I use it often as you notice maybe in my videos. After it was done this is how it looks like and then I'm going to take this small tin can from tomato sauce and I will paint it a few times with this same chalk paint. And after that I added some tulips and this is how it looks like. So gorgeous. But of course this doesn't have to be planter. It can be pencil holder or really anything tool holder maybe for your gardening. Tell me what you think about this one. I absolutely love it. Okay, I want to tell you about a company called Exter. Um, it is a company that makes most efficient, secure and stylish um, smart products. Now, this beautiful laptop sleeve is just one of the things that they sent me. It holds 13 inches laptop and, or tablets and uh, it is made out of environmentally certified leather. It has a protective mi microfiber inside because we all know how expensive those laptops can be. Uh, it has magnetic closure. Also on the back there is so much storage uh, for some necessities like a uh, mouse or uh, charger, notebook, pencil or a pen. It is just so beautiful and I think it's perfect and I definitely recommend it. Now another thing I received was this uh, card holder and not only that is sleek and beautiful, it is actually so functional. Look, with the touch of a button right here, it releases all the credit cards. Also. On the back of the wallet, there is a compartment for more credit cards. So this one holds from 1 to 15 credit cards and on the back it can uh, have 1 to 6 more credit cards. Also, uh, since that strap in the middle is elastic, it can also hold a cash as well. It's made out of um, space grade aluminum and also it has uh, RFID protection from wallet thefts. It is beautiful, sleek, functional, and I definitely recommend it. Okay, one more thing I was sent and I was so excited about is this key holder. I'm showing you over here how easy it is to uh, put the keys inside to attach it all together. And not only that I love how simple and sleek this is, it looks so beautiful. It is so simple. There's no more bulky keychains um, hitting around and uh, just being so annoying. This one is so, so beautiful. Now, what I like about this company is that everything is so high end from very good materials and it's a very, a very sleek and um, I just love the style of it. You guys know that I am minimalist and this is definitely something that um, I would use. So. If you would like to check out the company, they have so many more other things to offer. Um, they have a promotion going on right now, 20% off uh, for their anniversary sale. I'm going to have that linked in the description box. How perfect some of these presents will be uh, for Mother's Day or Father's Day or any birthday or just for yourself. Go ahead and check them out in my description box. Now let's go ahead and start with DIY number three. I'm using just this piece of the wood board that I had uh, in my garage and then I printed out this robin on a, on a um, tree and then I cut it out. Now I decided I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, polyurethane water based. I saw on the internet that you can uh, apply the polyurethane on the board and then flip over the picture and just um, press it down 
leave it to dry and then you can just scrub it off. Now, I left this to dry for probably an hour, hour and a half to make sure everything is nice and completely dried. Now I took a water and um, toothbrush, some new toothbrush, and I decided to scrub it. That's how I saw they did on online and I decided to do the same. And it started off pretty good. So it was easy and it started off pretty good. But at some point, um, it started peeling off. So you see, this is what I was left with. A lot of it peeled off. Now I know why, because I didn't use a lot of polyurethane. I didn't want to overdo it. And on the places where I didn't put enough, this is what happened. So if you're using this method, definitely use a lot of polyurethane. Now, um, after sanding it off, I decided to use a black paint and just go with it and try to fix this. So I painted and I wanted it to be rustic anyway. So I decided to just add paint wherever I think it needed. So after I was done with this and um, I'm going to go ahead and dry it really, really good. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm drying it really good. And after that, I'm going to give it one more sand just to make it a little more rustic. After that, I am going to add jute pine on the bottom, wrap it up a few times and secure it with hot glue. And then I didn't show it on the video, but I actually decided to just distress it a little bit with um, white chalk paint. And you can see it over here. Overall, I really like how it turned out. My take out of this is that uh, the wood should be as straight as possible. That way it will, the transfer will work great. But either way, I like how it turned out. Tell me which one was your favorite. And don't forget to check out my description box for the links for playlist and extra. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.